Hello everybody, this is the South African Otaku here and welcome to another video. Um, Today, I'm going to be frankly honest with you right now. I had no idea as to what video to actually make. So I just thought, um, hey, this might be a cool idea. Why don't I show off my manga collection? So, yeah, because I know people want to see what other people are reading or have read or collected over the years and I'm frankly I'm super proud of myself because I started last year and I think I have over 150 volumes which in South Africa is a lot of money <laughs> um, yeah um, also I really wish my collection can get bigger over time but to be honest, South African, we don't get the best of manga. N not like saying we get all the crappy manga nobody wants. Um, what I'm actually saying is South African bookshops like Bargain Books, they don't normally have the rights to sell manga. I know that sounds a bit weird. I know. I don't know the whole story behind it. Frankly, I really, I asked my friend who works there, she told me that they don't necessarily have the rights to sell a lot of manga, like a lot of, how can I say, generalized manga, like, I don't know actually how to describe it, but in any case, enough yammering, you probably want to see the manga that I collected over the years, starting from last year i think it was november no 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 it was later than that i think year round about june july -ish. yeah july -ish. <laughs> but in any case guys the first manga that i'm actually gonna start with i haven't finished it yet frankly i only i need i think two more volumes and it's the start of the volumes. I have volume 1. And then skip to volume 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. I know, it's a bit of an odd numbering system. I know, I'm really, I'm sorry about that. Let me just get this in order. Otherwise, what use is it actually? Um, and the series. Sorry, I haven't introduced it yet. The Grey Man. Um, I really, I want to read it so badly, but I need those two volumes because this looks so freaking amazing just by the cover art. Um, like just by his red hand, as you guys can see here, I get a bit of a type of um Full Metal Alchemist vibe. Not that I'm saying this is gonna be completely like Full Metal Alchemist. No, that's not what I'm saying. Frankly, I think after this video, I might actually read this manga, just the start of it, to actually see what it is about. And even the art style, like the white hair and the blue eyes, it reminds me of... Damn it, what is his name? I, for uh, I forgot. But I'll get back to that. Um, yeah, let's put this over here, where it's safe. Any case... Where do I freaking begin? I think probably with the lesser known ones. Like those that people don't collect on a regularity or on a regular basis. It is spin-offs of the famous, the best, my favorite anime and manga of all time. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan, no regrets. 1 and 2. Now, I've, I've particularly seen the anime about these two. Fine work. Like, in, mm, it gave so much lure to the whole story. Uh, not just by Levi himself, but also how Levi came to be and also what he suffered through. Um, frankly, I haven't read it yet. I've watched the anime as I've told you guys. Frankly, I think I might as well actually read this. Um, I mean, it is two short volumes, so 
I mean, what can I lose? Nothing, actually. And then another another two volumes from Attack on Titan, also spin-offs. Attack on Titan, Lost Goals. Uh, I don't know if the light is actually screwing up. Let me just turn my face light. Yeah, you've been a naughty boy. Yeah, freaked. Um, what I also like about this is, boom, it's one person. They always say two heads is better than one, but I never actually knew that is what they meant. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But in any case, I've also seen the anime of this, and dude, so freaking phenomenal. It actually, it's the untold story be behind, uh, what is your name again? I've, I forgot the blonde girl's name. It's not Ymir, it's... It's also not, um... What the frick is it? Okay, but... That's not the fact right here. That's not the matter right here. Next. Like, it shows me Casas and that other girl's story. Um, of how they actually gained their... How can I say... Mikasa's Akuman power and this girl's Titan power. Now, it's also a freaking phenomenal anime. Like, you have to watch it. It also gives so much lure as to the whole attack on genre, attack on Titan, not attack on genre. Yeah, <laughs> screw you, action. <laughs> um, but it gives a whole lot of more lure than a person would ever think of. Okay, but that's not... I'm, I'm gonna put it here, where it's safe. Next up. The most cutest Yuri genre that I have. You guys may know it as Sweet Blue Flowers. Let me show the front page of Volume 1. I'm still reading it though. I don't know what's wrong with this light. This light is screwing up everything. Except my... Awful face that is already screwed up sweet blue flowers now. I got this as a present volume one I actually got as a present from my auntie Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you're watching this I I Will always remember this because this is so fucking cute. Um, I really I want to get into this all three mangas right from the start, but it is a bit of a long read because it has long dialogue and I'm, I'm not complaining, but it's, it, it has a bit of a long read and yeah, on weekends I have nothing to do. So, uh, yeah, any case, I also, I don't know much about the series, like much about Sweet Blue Flowers, but from what I've actually read in volume one, it's freaking cute i highly recommend it if you're a romance fan or if you're i want to say a yuri fan if you're a manga fan in general this will be worth the read and worth the money definitely and i must say these were actually cheap 100 rand a volume that is a pretty good price next up is what is this? Platinum End. Now, guys, also forgive me for this. Um, I'm still reading Platinum End. Uh, I actually have to reread it because I forgot as to what happened in the first volume. But I think it will come back to me like a flash. Um, here I have volume 1 to 9. And what I love about this, uh, I don't think you, I don't think your guy, you guys will see it actually on the camera. It has this nice reflection. I freaking love that. That shows that they actually put in the worthwhile to make the cover as good as a story. I freaking love that. It it looks so cool. It looks type of angelic. I, yeah, you guys can see it. If I should say what I, I frankly, I can remember a bit, but I would also highly recommend this, definitely. Um, 
not only because I have it in my collection, but also just for the cute art style, not just cute art style, I know this can get heavy freaked up at some times, definitely. Like, but the art style is, it's spot on. I, I can't stress it enough. I will also definitely be reading this in the near future. Come on, stay boy, stay. Next up is... Real account. This is also a freaking phenomenal manga. Um, something that reminds me of an anime like this is the High Rise Invasion. Frankly, a phenomenal anime in my opinion. If you don't know what I'm actually talking about, it is on Netflix. It is spot on. It is really, it's freaking phenomenal. I love every single thing about it. Um, yeah, but if you're like against gore or against, uh, nudity at some times, I don't think it will be yours truly to actually watch. But if I should say, you guys will definitely enjoy it. No doubts about that. But in any case, real accounts, I am going to be reading this to the fullest end. I've only read the first volume so far. But this is one of my more recent buys. But volume 1 to 6, that is freaking, that is freaking phenomenal actually. I'm glad I got this, just as like a cheap price. Um, I think this was 600 for all 6. Well, apparently it's 100 for 1. Nah, nah, nah. Think about it correctly, which is actually the accurate price. In any case... Yeah, you go there. Next, also another two spin-offs of Attack on Titan. But this is more like chubby-based. Um, chubby like in the cartoony. The cartoony aspect and it looks so freaking cute. I love it. It The art style is freaking phenomenal. The Spirit of Titan. Um... <laughs> It's really, it looks so damn cute. And even the art style, the chibi art style, I freaking love, I freaking love that. Sorry if I stutter too much. Um, like, it has that all type of comic style. I highly appreciate that they actually took that time and efforts to make something as wonderful as this. Because I think this will also, like... Inspire me to re-watch the whole series from start to finish. And also reread it from volume 1 to 22. Because I, I don't know what's wrong with South Africa. Because once again, we are not, for some reason, we are not allowed to have volume 23 and upwards. Maybe that has changed. I've... It's really a, it really has been a long time since I was at the bookstore. So heck yeah. Let's let's keep our hopes up. Any case, next up, one of my favorite mangakas of all time. You may know it as the king of horror manga. Junzi Itto. Or Ito Junzi. Depends on how you Want to express your weebiosity. Um, Jay Senson, right? It's here somewhere. Junji Sensei is really a phenomenal mangaka. And if I can actually express my, my feelings about this particular one. Junji Ito's Cat Diaries, Young and Mu. I read it just up and up until the half but i should say i am pretty impressed just by the sheer art style of how he he actually expresses like normal face face reactions and sort of things like that it really it's bizarre at sometimes and i don't know why it's just he can he can make you feel uncomfortable at some times. 
but I am going to be reading this non-stop. I actually bought two of these, and I gave one to my best friend who works with me. My, I would call him my doki. If you don't know the word, it actually means person who works with you for the same amount of time. Um, yeah, from his perspective, this is also freaking phenomenal. And he loves horror. He loves... Like, I actually got him in, I got him into the manga aspects of things. But in any case, yeah, I'm going to be reading this as well. No doubt about that. Next up is two volumes. I haven't read it yet. Guys, please forgive me. Terraformers. Terraformers. I should hold it like this in my left hand. Terraformers, volume one and two. I really, I want to read it so badly, but I, like, my vision of actually reading more of a manga is you have to own more. Otherwise, you're just going to be hurting your imagination, trying to think of, oh my gosh, I wonder what is going to happen next. I, I think Johnny's going to kiss Susan. Like, I, not that I'm saying John and Susan are in this book, but... That type of curiosity, it can really break your brain at some times, and I do not like that. But Terraformers, I definitely also want to read. I just want more volumes of it. Frankly, once again, we can't buy it. I don't know why. South Africa, you are so freaking mean to us. Next up, another one of Junsi Ito's famous workbooks. Now, this is a collection of stories from Sensei Junji. Smashed. N no, n not like your cookie. No, it's not smashed. Um, this is freaking phenomenal. I think I've read three stories, and then suddenly I just got like I had to go back. I had to go and rethink every situation that I was in because. The art style and the directory that Junji Ito's work is flowing towards. The direction, not the directory. Um, he, that was the first time that I actually felt like, not uncomfortable, but like I, I questioned my sanity. And I questioned everything. But in any case... I highly recommend Smash and all of Jun Junji Ito's work. Now, I want more of Junji Ito's work, especially just for myself, because it was good to actually stay, take a step backwards and just, yeah, think about things more and more and more. But in any case, that's not where we stop today. That is not. That is... We're, we are actually only, like... Can I say two eighths of a way through? Next up is two standalone volumes. Now, frankly, these one of them aren't isn't actually my favorite, but the other one is freaking phenomenal. Um, the one that is not my favorite, like, but I did enjoy reading it, is She and Her Cats. Now, I don't know. Why I didn't enjoy it, I mean, it is cute as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. This is really cute. But, I mean, it it gave the type of aspect that a cat is, yeah, it tries to, how can I say, own you as an owner. So, I think that's the only thing that actually puts me off of this manga particularly. But I should say, it's cute as freak. I highly recommend it. If you're, once again, into cute things, highly recommend it. Definitely, not gonna lie. Next up, The God's Lie. Now, this one was freaking phenomenal. Me and my cousin actually read this together, and we actually both cried. Well, she actually cried like... A few minutes after me because like she doesn't get struck emotionally quite that often but this one actually took her a few times back and 
yeah, I should say, she enjoyed it just as well. Um, The God's Lie is really a freaking phenomenal series or a phenomenal standalone. If I will ever want to see a uh, anime ad adaptation, it will be of The God's Lie. Because, I mean, I got a lot of, like, a silent voice vibes from it. I'm not saying, like, it copied a silent voice. No, that's not it. But the art style. It reminds me of a silent voice, definitely. Frankly, that is a manga that I'm gonna buy on Amazon. Even though the shipping price is way beyond my budget. It's my whole month's salary. But any case, that that is not your con that is not your problem. It's, that is my problem. I want to own manga, so I have to pay the bills and pay the manga. But in any case, highly recommend these two. If you want them, I'll like I'll do a review on them definitely after I've actually reread The God's Lie because that is also on my read list for how can I say. March, but March is almost over already. I mean, it's almost the 10th in a few hours. So, in any case, that this that I'm actually putting aside is my monthly reading log. I, I don't know, people make that for some reason. In any case, next up is just a couple of single volumes. I really didn't go and try and collect every single one of them because it is also it's quite hard to get these particular that I'm gonna show you like from volume 2 to 3 to even volume 10 at some times but starting with this one it is fairy tale now I've tried to actually watch fairy tale on crunchy roll but it only I think it only gives season two and that is something that bites my ass sometimes because I've heard a lot of great things about this. Um my friend that I was in school with, my I w I won't call him my best friends but we were we were quite close. Um yeah he watched Fairy Tale but yeah the the dub version and that is something that I didn't quite enjoy. Like, I'm, I'm not like saying there's something wrong with dubbed anime, but just the voice acting at some times. And also, it was kind of late for me to join in on the watch party. And yeah, but in any case, worth the read. I highly recommend it. I will try and find more of it, definitely. Even though it is on Amazon for my whole apartment's worth. But I mean, I will move out. I, I, I can probably make a house of all these. Yeah, <laughs> I can stack four and use them as a pillar and probably find a cardboard box. <laughs> I am home. <laughs> Sorry if that joke isn't funny. I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Any case, moving on. To Boruto. Now, I've also tried... I've been trying to watch this on Crunchyroll. It's just... Yeah, I, I actually need to watch it from the very start. From Naruto to up until... I keep on wanting to say Boruto. For some reason, <laughs> I'm sorry, Boruto. So yeah, I I don't know the whole story behind it, but I am gonna be watching it definitely. Like there's no doubt about that. Any case, next up is Toriko. Also worth the read if you if you want to read it. I highly recommend it. Um, from my perspective. As a person that eats a lot, I enjoy food a lot. This manga really spoke to me. It spoke to me that you shouldn't be afraid of trying something new, a new delicacy or something like that. But you have to also know how to, how can I say, cook things. You can't eat a thing 
uncooked or something I honestly I have no idea as to how to describe this the next stop is Bakuman this is also so freaking phenomenal I hold this dear to my heart even though I did forget as to what happened but I do know this is a type of starting a manga manga card artist thing but I also highly recommend it the art style is so freaking phenomenal the story I think there is an adaptation of it I will definitely watch it but for the time being it is gonna be waiting on my in my collection next up is Dead Man Wonderland this is freaking phenomenal I should say I have been scouting around for all volumes all 12 volumes frankly I have found one so I am actually quite happy with myself this is freaking phenomenal I highly recommend it as well um it reminds it also reminds me of how can I say the high rise invasion just because of its art style and its type of aspect of doing things like stuck in a world where people don't know you you are actually in so once again highly recommend this this is freaking phenomenal next up is high school high school debut this is cute this is high this is really cute um if once again if you're a fan of romance high school debut is worth the read and worth the money um frankly i've read this last year i i really i haven't found any other manga in south africa i really i want to read this so damn badly um i want to find out if they actually get together if they hook up um anything but in any case for the time being that that will have to wait next up Yu-Gi-Oh, rgv rgv i guess r a r g v sorry arg but in any case i haven't read this yet this is definitely one i'm going to read but i want to start from the beginning as well from reading the first Yu-Gi-Oh or watching the first Yu-Gi-Oh ending up until the very last one so in any case this is also going to be going on to my monthly reading log just for the time being but i should say the one that's actually here is also one of my favorites astro lost in space this is also so freaking phenomenal and the art style is amazing um if you guys want to if you guys like like if you like 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 that um if you like space and travel and exploration in general i will highly recommend australian space this is really one of my favorites um yeah it's also one of the first volumes that i actually got as a present from guess it my mom so yeah thanks mom thank you for opening up my world and yeah helping me decrease my money every month so in any case thank you next up oh sweet goodness we aren't even half weight next up is one of the biggest series that i actually have or maybe that should wait till the end next up is tenjo tenje now i don't know if i'll be able to hold this in one sitting i'll actually have to show you half half but in any case, here goes nothing. Oh shit. Frick. Um, just to give you an aspect of how big my collection of this one actually is, let me show you the names. I'm gonna stand up now. I'm standing up. And frankly, it's still it also can't be in frame. Um yeah. I haven't read everything of it. I highly want to definitely. This is gonna be one of the longest reads. Um, 
I highly recommend it so damn much. Um, but I should say I have read Volume One. Now it has a itchy type of aspect to it. If you're a fan of itchiness, then highly recommend this. But yeah, it has action. It has every single thing, even like the fighting. It is bizarre. It is really, it's brutal as heck and it can get sometimes pretty violent in my opinion. But in any case, I think I am going to be reading volume 2 and 3 this month. Just because I've kind of forgotten as to what actually happened. I know they, they are trying to actually, there's two guys trying to gain like the king of high school or the kings of high school. Now, the way they'll actually compete for it is by trying to beat everyone up or eliminate them. So, once again, frankly, freaking awesome. There you go. Please don't fall over. You're going to break my floor. Because this has been a long, long video. 31 minutes. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm I'm seriously I'm not sure as to how to actually make this more interesting. I'm I'm frankly sorry if you guys don't enjoy this, but if you do, I am glad to be sharing this with you because it's something that's um how can I say inspired me a lot to see Joey's collection over the years and yeah I'm just glad I can be sharing my own collection with each and every single one of you so guys thank you for watching this B but i know i went off sappy um we're not done yet we're, <laughs> we're not don't press the exit button johnny listen to me ah oh, for fuck's sake <laughs> i knew this was gonna happen damn it <laughs> well it was bound to happen one way or another even though just with this and frankly it opened up on the most the most itchiest part of it all damn it <laughs> i'm gonna be having at me next up is another spin-off of attack on titan i uh, know <laughs> i'm an attack on titan fanatic next up is attack on titan before the fall now i haven't read it it is on my reading list volume one to nine it is also freaking phenomenal i highly recommend this just as well um i am going to be reading this i've heard a few i've heard a lot of good things about this also it gives a lot of lure to the whole story but I don't think it's, let's read from where it actually comes from. Um, oh, so, Hajime Isiyama also worked on this. Wow, he is truly the father of Titans. Um, Mr. Hajime, thank you so much for bringing this to my life. I... I honor you for that. Um, but in any case, I am going to be reading this definitely. No doubt about that. It is going on my reading list. But I think probably, no, I am going to be reading it definitely. Even if it's this month. Next up, holy heck, dude. Freak me. Next, another two spin-offs. <laughs> Whoa, this is a lot. Um, Attack on Titan Junior High. I know, I have a lot of Attack on Titan fan. Attack on Titan manga. Now, what the frick fell on my lap? Oh, it's sweet. Um, yeah, this is most work I've ever done. Any case, um, Junior High I've also never read, but I, I've heard... That it's not the best, or I won't say not the best. Some people enjoy it, but also others not so much, because it it tries to take an aspect of high school now. So, but yeah, I will definitely read this. I mean, the art style that it kind of looks chibiness, 
I will also definitely read this. So yeah, I I will read it and give my opinion about it. Whether you guys need to read it or not. Next up is the Stolen Jump manga, a collection. Yeah, that is really strange in my collection. Yeah, but frankly, some of you are heavy, big fans of this. Death Notes. Um, yeah, that's a big boy. I mean, my face can't even come in frame. Um, volume. This is actually omnibuses, so I think it's like volume 1 to, I think, 13, actually. 13 with this one. This one actually looks the best. Wait. Is this... No, this isn't the manga. This... Oh, the manga is at the backside. Um... Definitely, I love like the hard covers. It's really, it's like a hard cover, but it's not that hard. It is bendable a bit, but I mean, who wants to bend their manga? You only have to be a true idiot to actually be bending your manga. So I am going to be reading this. I haven't watched the anime. Frankly, I think I have to, but I will never watch the crappy Netflix adaptation. Of Death Note. I've watched it once and I felt like what the fuck is wrong with my life. But in any case, on my reading list for March. Oh great, I knew you were gonna fall over. I don't know where my redneck just came from. In any case, whew, guys, I'm sorry, I bored you for Almost 40 minutes now, but we're almost at the end. We're almost at that glorious end goal. So, in any case, here goes nothing. Next up is one of them is a standalone. One of them is definitely a standalone. Um, where did I put this? One of them is a standalone. I'm I'm actually gonna start with that first. All you need is kill. Um, frankly, this is also one of my favorites. Um, not gonna lie though. Um, if you wanna read this, I will give my opinion about it. It's actually Death Note creator Takeshi Obata's manga adaptation of the hit novel by Hiroshi Sakurazaka. Now, I, I'm sure I butchered that surname. I'm, I'm sorry if that's your surname. I'm, I'm truly sorry. But all you need is kill. It is freaking phenomenal. It has everything that I have ever looked for in a manga. The action. There is a little bit of itchiness. But not like quite. Um, it also reminds me a lot of... My recent re-zero, where he, when he dies, he goes back in time. That is such a cool aspect. I love that so much. Um, not only because I'm a Dark Souls, Dark Souls fanatic, but also, yeah, <laughs> recently, I am a re-zero fanatic. So, hell yeah to that. But yeah, I definitely recommend All You Need Is Kill. I love this. I love this with all of my heart. I will never, ever let this manga series go. Now, the, the next one is going to be like, it has mixed ratings. But frankly, I haven't read it yet. Um, it is a Soto beat manga. And the name means seven. So, say hello to Nana. Um, I haven't read it yet. I really want to read it so much. I Yazawa. Why does that name sound so familiar? Where is Sweet Blue Flowers? Oh, um, I have. 
It's not the same creator, sorry. Not the same mangaka, I'm, I'm sorry. But I, I really, I want to read this so badly. So it, this is also going on my monthly reading list. Next up is Mobile Suit Gundam Wing, Endless Vaults. Endless Vaults. I haven't read this yet. Once again, I want to start from the very beginning, from the original Gundams, and just work my way through and be the best reader that I can be or the best Gundam fan that I can be. But in any case, this is gonna be waiting a bit until I have more. But in any case, I am gonna be putting it over here. Next, next up is Inuyashiki. Dude, this was also so freaking phenomenal. It goes above this old Odisa. Odisa. Which means uncle or by his terms, grandfather. So, yeah. It's basically, he has a, like a type of cancer slash illness. And then suddenly a meteor strikes, strikes him. And then he becomes... the freaking cyborg that is so dope um i love that so much um if i can recommend it like if you like sci-fi then hell yeah pick up inuyashiki you will not regret it if you regret it i will recommend you can punch me in the face with all that you have definitely or you can write my name in the death book what can i say I am an anime fan. Um, any case, Inuyashiki also highly recommended. I, I think you guys will enjoy it a lot. Next up is To Your Eternity. Now I have read both of these, and I think Aki also made a video about Volume One, Aki Dearest. She also said it was phenomenal, even though. Hers was a little bit caught off because she did buy it second hand. But I mean, that is the type of, that is the risk when buying manga second hand. But in any case, dude, this is so cute. This is really freaking phenomenal. It goes about this entity reincarnating as a wolf, then a boy, then... A goal again and with every single time it reincarnates it learns to do something new but the only time it can reincarnate if it if it it has found an host a host sorry my English is broken right now I've been talking for way too long but if it founds a type of host body to actually compare with or to how can I say yeah compare with now it actually started first with a wolf that got killed and then the boy found this wolf but the boy actually died of frostbite I think or he got a hole in his stomach I, I can't remember a lot but then the wolf actually met this goal but with that he, actually, he could actually transform into the boy already if he, the wolf just didn't know it yet so, I, will, I, I highly also recommend this. I know, I stuttered a lot on that. I'm sorry. Next up is also a bit of a big series. Depends on how you see this series. It is Seraph to the End. Seraph of the End. Or Seraph, what? Of the End. I highly recommend this. I've read... I actually want to read all of this in one video. Yeah, hashtag inspired by Joey. Or should I say, Joey Joey. <laughs> Joey Joey's bizarre reading session. <laughs> um, any case, I really want to read this. Reread it. Whatever you call it, I want to read it so badly. Um, Sarah, Seraph of the End is really a freaking phenomenal story. Although it's your typical like vampirish story, but I also highly recommend it. It is going on my reading list or re-reading list, so definitely gonna be putting you at my foot.
There you go. Stay. Stay, boy. Next up, Ultraman and Prison School. Now, these two, I am going to be making a separate video of them because I don't want to stress it out too much. But Prison School, I love it. I love the anime, even though I could just afford one. But the manga, sorry. I can only afford one manga, but I actually watched the entire the entire first season or the only series so far on YouTube because it's not on Crunchyroll and it's also not on Netflix or anything. But yeah, I am going to be trying to get more of this because I want to find out as to what happens with the whole group and will they ever make out with the gold and or will they remain prisoners without throughout their life even the student council the previous student council will they remain in the prison but in any case highly recommend these two definitely next up is one of my favorites although i haven't read it yet i just love the art style is Ghost in a Shell. Now this is volume 1, 1 1.5 and 2. I don't know why they called it by that numbering system but I freaking loved it. I actually also want to read this in a separate video and give my opinions about this. Yeah, once again inspired by Joey. If you don't know the references to Joey, go and check out Joey the Anime Man. He really has inspired me a lot of times to actually continue watching anime and continue reading manga. So yeah, all all this is actually thanks towards him. And if he can actually rate my manga collection video and also the manga that I have taste for, then I will quite enjoy it. I will be... I will even make a reaction video of my gratitude towards Joey. But in any case, I am going to be reading this, definitely. No, no joke about that. Uh, no, don't you dare fall over. And now, this. I, I frankly, I don't think I even have to say anything about Vinland Saga. Because, I mean, the manga speaks for itself. It's really, it's freaking phenomenal. Um, yeah. There's nothing more I can say. Nothing more, nothing less. Because it really, it speaks for itself. It's one of my favorite reads. But yeah, I am, I am going to be trying to get more of Vinland Saga. Just because, yeah, I, I want to finish it. And I want to see as what happens next how the story actually progresses so yeah this is going here uh, next up is hour of the zombie oh sorry um, I was holding it upside down now this also reminds me of the high-rise invasion I know I'm I keep on going back to that but just with it like it's um way of actually progressing the story but if you also don't know hour of the zombie in the title it gives away so much every hour or can i say every second hour the infected turn into zombies but with that they they comes um consequences where it means like uh how can i say I don't know how to describe it. You actually have to read it for yourself. But with every single time there comes consequences. But yeah. Definitely worth the read. I, I am going to be re-reading this on my time. In a separate video. And giving my thoughts about this. Definitely. Next up. Oh, almost done guys. Only two manga series is to go. You know actually three with this one. Next one is Junk. 
Now I only have six volumes. I think it only goes to volume seven. Oh, I have seven. I can't count. But I think it only goes to volume seven. So I think this might be a complete series. I haven't read it. But by the art style, it looks so freaking phenomenal. I really want to read what I actually know about this. It has a type of battle between like superiors or if that makes sense. Um, battle between the two equals for the strongest part. In any case, I am going to be reading this and giving my own thoughts in a video. So, heck yeah. Be sure to be waiting for that. Whew. If you guys made it this far, smash that like button and tell me your favorite mangas of which you actually want to see in future videos. So in any case, guys, we are almost done. We have two more. Two more. Uh, come on, damn it. Next up is Twin Star Exorcist. Now, I also haven't read it. I, I know that I. What kind of manga fan am I? I'm the collecting kind. <laughs> um, Twin Star Exorcist, really a freaking phenomenal looking series. I definitely want to be reading this from start to end. I am gonna be putting this on my reading pile or video reading pile because I also want to read this in a separate video and give my own opinions about it so with that said it's actually going to be at a secret spot there next up is the biggest biggest and largest series that i actually have and i think i might have given a hint as to from the first couple of mangas that you actually saw let me stand up for this one. Oh, hopefully I can pick this up. Oh, fuck. Um, hopefully I don't. If you've already seen by the color of it, this is Attack on Titan, Volume 1 to 22. Do I have to explain what Attack on Titan is? Are you guys hyped for Season 4? Have you guys started watching season 4? Please don't spoil anything for me. Um, I want to read it. Or I want to watch it actually. Because I can't read it. I finished this whole. This whole set. In one weekend. That's how motivated I actually was. And not like in segments. One after the other. From 1 straight to 22. I freaking love the series. I love it even more than Joey loves Jojo. So, heck yeah. I am more of the Attack on Titan fan where he is the jo Jojo fan. So, yeah. Guys, that was the end of my collection. I don't know actually how many I have. Um, frankly, I am going to be counting them and... Yeah. I think also this might actually do a pretty good video about it if I explain every single book and give every single thought of my opinion as to what will happen. But I think there has been a lot of videos about that. So in any case, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, I really appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you're a manga fan, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see all you beautiful weebs in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.